hey what's up guys i'm from bsc tech in today's video we have two devices uh, both s7 edge and uh, today we are going to install uh, a custom uh, rom on one of these devices this one on my right hand side is running android 12 which is based on the lineage os on my left hand side is uh, also s7 edge which is currently running on android 11 as you can see that we have uh, the pixel experience rom installed on this uh, device a couple of things uh, you need to notice uh, before you start this whole process what's the reason for you to install a custom rom uh, the answer is very simple your phone is getting older and uh, is draining battery faster than you can possibly imagine second thing is you don't want to buy a new phone which obviously makes sense because uh, the current financial situation is not great people are trying to save some money so the guide is very simple you can try this on any other samsung device as long as you follow the steps uh, there's some prerequisites first thing you need to make sure that you're not signed in on your google account and your device is uh, uh, factory reset uh, back to default factory settings which means that you don't have frp lock uh, this will uh, basically save you a lot of hassle if you have uh, your google account attached to your device that will prevent uh, a third party installation of uh, custom recovery and roam second thing is make sure you charge your battery to at least 50 percent i have 20 percent on this one and on this device i have somewhere around 60 percent 59 percent so we'll try on this one just to give it a go and uh, we'll take you through the steps which you can take in order to install a custom recovery although we have a custom recovery on both devices and custom roms but i'll still show you the process uh, which you can try on all different samsung devices for example if you have an older s8 s9 note 8 note 9 or any other devices uh, the first and the most important thing is to make sure that uh, you uh, verify your device's Exynos or Snapdragon. Both of these devices are Exynos. So we'll be going on uh, the Exterior Developer website and download the appropriate ROMs which are designed for Exynos processors. So let's jump into the video and if you are still watching this video, why not uh, hit uh, uh, the follow and subscribe button and also the bell notification for upcoming videos also i will address the issues if you face any problem for example mounting issues or if you face issue uh, while uh, you try to install the custom recovery and for some reason if it fails how to revert back to the stock firmware so keep watching the video and uh, we will be downloading uh, a custom recovery uh, two roms which we already downloaded on these two devices and install them but uh, i'll sh take you through the steps which you can follow and carefully write down on a piece of paper if you want so you don't miss any of the bits so remember you should not have your uh, google account linked to the device before you start the routing process uh, otherwise it will have uh, a broken or a soft bricked device so let's uh, move on towards uh, the exterior developer website and see which room we are going to download and install so first of all uh, you need to go on to xda developer website and uh, look for uh, your uh, uh, model number here since we have xns so we'll be going towards uh, the xns search you can also try this on uh, the google search samsung galaxy s7 edge xns rom xda developers and it will take you towards this page where we have uh, plenty of roms and uh, other softwares available uh, including uh, the kernels and recoveries so today we are only going to talk about uh, a custom recovery and a rom and also you need to download uh, odin latest version for windows which you can download from their website odin download 3.13 i have already downloaded it here so we have 3.13 also you need a samsung uh, usb driver for your device and uh, additionally you need uh, twrp for s7 edge xns and as you can see on screen we have a uh, snapdragon and uh, xns both models listed here so we'll go on to this website and from here you can download or you can go to this site twrp.me and then follow the 
the download links from this section installing a custom recovery is super easy and uh, if you follow the process uh, then you'll have no problem whatsoever in order to install a custom rom on top of the custom recovery so today we will pick uh, uh, the pixel experience which is here it's already there on the screen but i just want to show you so if you scroll down and start reading which uh, can be a little bit annoying for some users so let's talk about the the main bits based on android 11 what is working all these things are working known issue voice over lt when you connect through whatsapp or voice over lt there are sometimes echo coming in don't flash google apps because they are already included so since we have everything ready now the rom is downloaded the download link is given in this uh, segment which you can see on my screen and also on this one plus and regular edition you can download regular edition which is uh, preferred so now we have to put the phone into the recovery let's assume this is uh, on a stock uh, recovery without any twrp so the first thing you need to do is uh, wait for the phone to shut down and uh, Once the phone is completely shut down, as you can see on screen, it's still shutting down. You have to hold uh, the volume down button, home button and the power button in order to boot into the download mode. Once that goes onto this screen, you can move on towards the next step, which is to click volume up. And now we are into the download section. So from here, we have to connect the USB. And uh, if you have installed uh, uh, the USB driver for Samsung smartphones as soon as you open this page you see that this com uh, is uh, showing uh, this light bluish color go into the options uncheck factory reset and auto or reboot log click on the AP and then you can uh, basically go into the flashing room section and this is the one which we are going to install click start and wait for the system to complete reset is done and a message is passed so since we have disabled auto reboot and factory reset we'll be doing that manually now you need to do is disconnect the device and uh, stay on this screen and uh, now you have to hold the volume down button home button and the power button at the same time to force reboot once the device go into the reboot uh, loop you have to release uh, the volume down button and click on uh, the volume up button this will take you towards the next phase which is uh, to reboot into the twrp recovery wipe and then advanced wipe dalvik system data and cache don't delete internal storage click yes and there we go formatting completed now we are uh, done with uh, uh, the system wipe we'll click on install and then we'll click on pixel uh, rom and then swipe remember as we have seen on the website on xd developer uh, forum that uh, the google apps are already installed so you don't have to install them it will automatically flash uh, the google apps uh, based on android 11 for the first time remember it might take between two and five minutes depending on uh, the rom size if the rom is slightly bigger in size it will take between two and uh, five minutes if it's a small rom like this one which is a light rom then it will take between uh, uh, two and four minutes and as you can see while we are talking uh, the system is patching system image unconditionally and uh, it will uh, boot into the main uh, uh, home screen after the flashing is done so we'll let it go quickly and then uh, once it's completed we'll come back and by the way you can see that uh, the battery is still on 18 percent on this device which means you can still install uh, custom rom but it is highly recommended that you charge your battery at least to 50 percent in order to avoid any kind of inconvenience when you try to install a custom rom on these devices remember the process is fairly simple a custom recovery which is matching your hardware specification and uh, the rom and uh, just a bit of uh, 
reading and now we'll uh, reboot the system and wait for the system to completely reboot and uh, as you can see that uh, samsung's galaxy s7 edge powered by android logo appeared on screen and now we have a custom boot logo animation followed by powered by android so we'll have our android 11 up and running in no time so it literally takes 10 minutes if you know what you are doing and downloading the right files for your device and guys don't worry if you ever uh, uh, get stuck somewhere there's always a way out to sort your device unless it's a hardware fault which you can't fix uh, if it's a soft break, you can always recover your uh, uh, software from uh, 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 by installing uh, the stock firmware, which you can download from Sam firmware. So quick, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. As you can see, we are going through the initial process. Setup offline. We'll just go through the main setup. And since we have installed Android 11 on this device, on my right hand side, on my left hand is Android 11. And the phone will basically rise from the dead which means that you'll have a brand new experience on your Samsung devices, whether you have uh, S7, S7 Edge, S6, S8, Note series, or any Samsung device, which is slowing down over the time. Obviously, when you install uh, updates from Samsung, which will limit uh, the overall memory. And while we are talking, boom, the ROM is now installed. Let's go through the basic setup. Let's take you towards uh, the main image page. So we have Android 11 on board. It looks like very difficult, but uh, it's very easy. The next main bit is to show you the storage. We have used 19% of the total storage, which means 6.12 GB out of 32 gig. Uh, considering this device, which is basically a 32 GB, uh, you still have uh, plenty of storage left after installing all these uh, bits and pieces super fast guys we have custom notification just like we have on pixel you don't have to buy a new phone we have widgets you can go through these and uh, you will love this we have wallpapers we have themes we have other bits and pieces installed on this uh, device and as you can see it looks lovely and it's clean clean mean that uh, there isn't anything else installed other than the stock uh, uh, Google Apps and uh, the firmware itself. So we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, totally 20 apps installed on this app, which are the basic apps. So Android Auto works, uh, your banking app works also, also and uh, you have a working uh, Google Play Store on this device. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, do let us know in the comment section below and i'll bring more interesting videos for you in coming days and uh, enjoy your new firmware on your samsung devices take care bye bye